Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Oxenfree, continuing from where we left off. So Jonas ran off because he thought he saw Clarissa, and now he's stuck inside a room. I believe we need to tune into the radio again and listen to that message because I think there's some numbers in there and we might be able to open up the door or something like that. I mean, that picture behind us there is basically saying we need to tune in and it will open the lock, so I assume that's what we need to do. Right, this storyline, <laughs> honestly, I don't know whether it's aliens or ghosts. I think I'm leaning towards ghosts now because... I think when we interacted with that triangle in the sky with the radio, we opened up some kind of doorway to the other side or another plane, limbo, whatever you want to call it. And now we're communicating with ghosts or the dead. So I do think it's ghosts now. But uh, yeah, this, this is really unnerving, this game. I wasn't expecting this, actually, from this type of game, but uh, it's been really good so far. I'm enjoying it, and hopefully you guys are too. Anyway, let's try and get Jonas out this room. I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there, but let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. You know, I never wanted to be a DJ, and this isn't really enticing me to start, but I can sort of see the appeal now, you know? But I'd be a horrible talk radio guy, like just giving opinions. I wouldn't know what to say, really. I wouldn't want to do it anyway. It'd be like a slow, horrible death by anxiety or something, talking to all those listeners. And they have to get up at like 3 a.m., right? Those guys, those those talk radio guys, to start at like 5? I'd be, I'd be like the late night, like the, the late night old rock guy, and they'd like keep me on the books. Whoa! Jonas? If you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. H how is this possible? W what's going on? Because that wasn't creepy. <laughs> Maybe we don't need the code, I don't know. Uh, Jonas? Please reply to me now. Jonas! <laughs> this is getting creepy. Alright, let's go back up. Maybe we need to tune in at both uh, posters. Sunday the 7th, 1941, so that's 71941. Not unless I have to work out. No, actually I don't. That, that's fine. That should be the A code. That's the only code I can find. Do I need to walk back upstairs now? I 
don't know, maybe we should try... It's not giving me the uh, option to interact with that door, with the, uh, you know... Okay. Oh! Just uh, okay, it's open. Never that, mind. That sucked. Uh, Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and... Yeah, I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. <laughs> Why did you run off ahead then and didn't wait for me? That was kind of silly of you. Oh, here's the code for the uh, for the padlock. Three, four, eighteen. It's on a list of. Huh? They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo. So great. Hey, did I? Did Did you see that? In In the mirror, the reflection it was weird. No, I missed it. What happened? I totally missed uh, it because I was writing was that code down. Like a reflection. <laughs> I, I don't know. It wasn't normal. I'm going to take a picture. See if the flash will make something happen. Okay. Okay. Make it snappy. Get it? <laughs> I'm choosing not to get it. <laughs> oh my god. Right, so I was totally wrong about the code. There's me thinking I had to tune into that frequency and all along it was in the room that Jonas was trapped in. So, 3418. Come on, Jonas. Don't be getting stuck in any more rooms, dude. 3418 and voila! Open sesame! Oh god, what's that? Uh, you tell me. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Okay, so let's have a look at this photo. Oh no! You can see the creepy monster in the background? Oh, that looks ominous. Oh, that's... Uh. See, I hate monsters like that where they are pure shadowy figures. I find that more scary because there's mystery about them. But it's got to be the ghost, right? Just taking on some kind of form. Oh, I'm Can't hate genuinely be that. a monster. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd, you know... Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll look I'll the other way. Fast. This is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it, right here. My vacant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me. <laughs> I've turned the other way, don't worry. Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Now just don't touch me because you haven't been able to wash your hands. Clarissa! Oh! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? Clarissa, come back! We came to help you, don't... Ugh. Run away. You know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having like a Ren episode. A Renisode. A Renisode? Whatever <laughs> we want to call it. Oh, well, she could also be yeah, like uh, actually, Nona as well. Obvious that that's what's probably happening, isn't it? Wasn't it in House on the Haunted Hill where that possessed guy walked into a vat of blood? I... Really don't know. Because oh, Nona, is this what? Is this... Whoa! God, is this is this going out or? Wait, I can. Oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not. Man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but whatever. She still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. Why is it so complicated for her to work it though? Yeah, as I was saying, Nona saw us, but we didn't see her, so she was seeing things, I guess. So maybe that's what's happening to Clarissa as well. Oh, 
normally around lights we can tune into stuff. Um, so I'm just checking. Okay, down we go. Kind of looks like Tony the Tiger on the right. They're great! Can we go in here or not? No. Never mind. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. Clearly, it's the, uh, the evil, obviously. First they finger paint, then they wear our lungs like scarves. Yeah, well, Ew. somebody's got to keep the traditions alive. Oh, God, what, was, what that? was that? You, you heard that, right? I'm sure it's just the, uh, the evil again. I forgot this step in between the finger paint and wearing our lungs. They also drop things. I'm... I don't even know why I ask you. <laughs> right. that light like in tune with the sound or am I just seeing things ah oh god okay whoa high in the Cascade Mountains of Washington the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter it's one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second hey kids want to play a game ah. God, can you, can you believe this? No, I can't. Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start. So don't hold your breath. Oh god, I'm gonna suck. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a fort. Seven. Uh, Fort Milner, right? I mean, that's not a... Got it wrong. Our friends <laughs> are finding this tough. Gosh. Oh! Just don't we hurt. don't hurt playmates. Oh, jeez. Oh! What is going on? Now we're upside down. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Cookies. Who Ten. would know that? This isn't World War II. Nobody calls anything anything Eight. anymore. I'm gone. Is it? Seven. You call codes. There we go, because it's upside down and it's still square. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, why on earth would I? What does this have to do? We are an island race. Oh. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, what the hell are you talking about? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? 
It was uh, fifty three, I think. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. Fifty three. You're all wrong. wrong. No. That's not gonna cut it. It wasn't twelve. Ninety seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. I am. I didn't need to get that far. Just my mom was sitting in the kid. Phoenix there's all in my head. He was all obsessed. Uh, okay. I am. I didn't need to get that far. Orders! Here we go. Oh no, Jonas. from this possession. Um. The United States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters. The the Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near... Is this... Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Canaloa? We are uh, sunken. Oh, okay. What... what do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. time. Oh, God. Time. What? I... that was... not fun. Yeah, I know you just went through, like, an event or something, but I could have really used your help back there. <sighs> you... are an evil person. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Yeah, just anyone, a little bit. Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. I'm not sure we should be using the radio anymore. <laughs> it's making weird stuff happen. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um. What? She's cracking up. Great. She's going crazy. I'm not surprised. Cross your fingers. Clarissa. Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, doctor. So are we super twins or doctors? Uh, okay, don't even start, Clarissa. We came. We're here. Be happy. We came right, to help you? All, you know, you're you grateful know, sod. Be honest. Did you come because I needed help, or did you come because there was a radio? Um, Clarissa... I want to hear it from Alex. <sighs> yes, of course, Clarissa. I really don't appreciate the question. Okay. Speaking of the radio, where is it? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Okay. Since I'm the only one who's capable of working a radio. Yeah, no, this is 
This is like a low frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't. I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a way? Any officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Oh! Jonas, wait. We're in another. We got looped again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Okay, guys. Well, now seems like a good time to stop this episode here. So, we figured out the voices are the uh, dead people that died in the sinking of that ship. The Kaolola? I can't say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. So, we're, we are communicating with ghosts, then. Or the dead. Same difference. So, hmm. But one of the voices said, "When the cha time, when the time comes, let Jonas speak to his mother." So, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Will we actually get to speak to Jonas's dead mother? Maybe we'll get to speak to Michael, the dead brother, as well. But we shall see. So, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. All those things really do help me out as a YouTuber. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy, guys.